What's up, everybody at home? It's me, B to the P, the paranormal doctor, Brian Parkmore, and I'm here today with UFO, fucking Rick. What's up, everybody? Before we get this started, remember to hit that subscribe button, like button, check me out, Parkmore Paranormal here on YouTube. You got Angie Ghost UFO Rick. You got exploring with ash and jake check them out and let's go ahead and talk about one that ash came up for us to do so she's been doing a lot of like serial killers and everything she mm -hmm. came up with this one for us to do she thought this would be a cool one for us to do all right <clears throat> so we want to talk about joe Methany. so good old joe the killer who made his victims into hamburgers. Oh, man. Well, make them into burgers. And then sold his burgers to unexpected customers. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh. Though the police only connected him to three murders, Joseph Roy Mephany claimed to have slaughtered a total of 13 victims. Wow. Who some who he um turned into patties that he sold to unwilling unwitty customers on a Baltimore roadside. So we got we got pretty much like almost like a butcher dude here. Yeah, the one we did a while back type kind of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. When police arrested Joe Metheny for assault in December nineteen ninety six. They expected him to put up a fight. The 6'1", 450-pound lumber worker Damn. apparently had a tendency to fly off the handle. At the very least, they expected some re resistance. All right. What did they expect to hear? was a detailed and upfront confession. The brutality of which shocked the police, especially when Methany added, I am a very sick person. Man. <clears throat> so he confessed like right away. Pretty yeah. much. In his confession, Methany described to the police, he viciously raped murder and dismembered sex workers and people who are homeless. However, these victims just served as a substitute for his one attendant victim, his runaway girlfriend. Mm. So pretty much his runaway girlfriend pretty much drove him crazy. It was the uh, straw that broke the camel's back as they say. So that's pretty much him. So he's he's pretty much a person that don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's what do they call it, a narcissist? Yeah, narcissistic, something like that. Yeah. Cray cray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vin Metheny confessed to his most disturbing crimes. Not only did he eat his victim, but he served him to other people, other unknowing people as well mm. so he pretty much had a burger stand too or something man <laughs> oh no this is pretty interesting guys yeah yeah joe had always been rough he endured endured a childhood of neglect with an absent alcoholic father and a mother forced to work extra shifts to support her six children they lived in excess Baltimore, near Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Not many other details are known a lot in his younger years and everything. <clears throat> but his mother says he joined the army in 1973. When he was 19, they lost touch after that. He just kept drifting further and further away. 
I think the worst thing is that ever happened to him was drugs. It is sad, sad story, she said. Upon leaving the army, Metheny worked blue collar jobs in lumber yards and as a truck driver. Then came the incident that sparked his revenge. So we're going to know it. In 1994, Joe Metheny was living with his girlfriend and their six-year-old son in South Baltimore. As a truck driver, he was on the road for long stints at a time. One day, he came home and his girlfriend and child was gone. So we know that's one of the steps for him to become the killer to begin with. Yeah, and where he snapped. Where he snapped, yeah. yeah. Like Metheny, Metheny, she had a drug addiction and Joe believed she left with another man and took to living on the streets with him. He spent days looking for them. Well, certain bridges where his girlfriend got drugs. But two homeless men whom he believed know her <laughs> gave him no identification he killed them with an axe he brought with him wow so two almost guys got killed by an axe but he thought knew his yeah girlfriend. I, that's i was gonna i was gonna say i bet there i was thinking you know i bet he kills them jesus christ immediately afterwards mephany a fisherman he noticed watch him kill the homeless people <laughs> he he killed as wow well he later wanted to find the taste of murder i guess he freaking killed freaking three people at once wow so he killed two homeless people I mean, the guy on his just sitting there on the dock fishing or whatever he seen him kill I mean, he got he got killed too mm-hmm after he found out what he did he threw the bodies in the river so we got before he's we're getting before he starts eating and everything. Yeah. Or serving food. <clears throat> he figured out where his son was and was him and his mother. I was all messed up writing. Well, I guess the other side of town selling drugs with her new asshole boyfriend. Soon his son was taken away for abuse and neglect. Police arrested Metheny for murders of men under the bridge. He only spent two years in the county jail awaiting trial. However, he was acquired, acquitted of any charges as he dumped their bodies in the nearby river and investigators could not find them so pretty much they couldn't find them or anything. yeah wow without physical evidence trying him to the crime mm -hmm. Joe Metheny he walked he walked free he resumed his original quest of seeking it for his wife and child but his time was different but this time was different. Something was different. Though he has spent a year and a half awaiting trial, jail time, shortly after being released, he murdered two sex workers because they failed giving him information about his wife. So his wife must have been a sex worker too. Yeah, yeah. This time he had a better idea for the bodies. <laughs> Instead of tossing them into the river, he took them home. Well, hell yeah. Now I'm playing. 
chopped them up. <laughs> So he chopped them up, put the meat hearts in Tupperware containers, and stuffed them in the freezer. He buried the rest under the truck lot he worked for. So he's buried bodies underneath the truck lot he's working for. Wow. But, the, but hell, he got the food in the freezer, so he's going to be eating it. Mm. He started to seem... He was killing for sport. Over the next several weekends, he fixed the sex worker's flesh with beef pork into neat little patties. He opened a small barbecue stand and sold them on the side of the road. Wow. <laughs> so... He's he's killing. So he killing became a sport for him. So he started making hamburgers out of them. Man. So he's putting pork, human, and hamburger together. He's gotta be like, oh man, this is a good burger. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I guess he did cook the STDs and shit out of it, probably. Yeah, probably so. Because they'd probably kill anything <laughs> cooking it. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, here we go. During this time, his customers would be consuming small amounts of human flesh. The bellies of the these people are now the hiding places of Mephanes victims. Mm. Hide them in their bellies, flush them down the toilet. Yeah, well, I was going to say, they didn't stay in the stomach long. Oh, look, they already talk about this. The human body tastes very similar to pork. He said, if you mix it together, no one can tell the difference. So the next time <laughs> you see a beef stand, yeah. <laughs> never before think of this story. Yeah, one of the dang freaking drive up windows and stuff. Them stands, I mean. Yeah. Like fair food. Uh, yeah, unbelievable, <laughs> man. I kind of want to know more about his wife or whatever. If they ever found her and her child and all that stuff. Yeah. I would too, yeah. Because it's actually getting kind of interesting. Joe Mephany was caught in 1996 when a could would be victim named Rita Kemper, good job, Rita, managed to escape his clutches to the police. He gave up every confession. He gave details of his murders. According to his confession, he killed 10 people. The words, I'm sorry, will never come out for the word, or else it'd be a lie. I am more willing to give up my life for what I have done and have God send me to hell for eternity. I just enjoyed it, he said. Man. Almost done. This is a long talking one. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this guy real quick? Extremely, you know, it's, it's, it's sad and it's scary. And what's even more scary is there's, you know, other people out there just like him. Oh, yeah. It, you know. It, he had Dahmer and all of them. Very, oh, yeah. There's, I quite a few of them so pretty much he so he should have been trying to find these people who was the the guy the clown the guy that dressed up like a clown i can't think wayne of gracie name. there you go you're thinking you're thinking dahmer eating people yeah yeah gracie was like he was just killing them he well, didn't he, eat them did he no he just killed oh, okay. them he'd burn them under his house yeah that's right the porch the front porch or something some shit like that yeah he had them buried like underneath the house Man, the um, yeah, down underneath and stuff, mm -hmm. buried him underneath there. He got mad when people said he was gay, but yeah, he was like screwing these boys after he killed them or whatever. So he's, he's kind of gay too. Well, um, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Oh, uh, the only thing I feel bad about, he said, is I didn't kill the two motherfuckers I was really after. He said his wife and the man she hooked up with. Mm. 
2017, guards found Metheny unresponsive in his cell at the Western Correctional Institute. At 3 p.m., he was pronounced dead and is ending this horrifying saga. Wow. So, by us reading all this stuff, what do you think? That's that's way out there. Do you know if uh, anything on just natural causes or? Well, that's why I'm trying to say. I as far as him, you know, passing. I, could, I couldn't find information about. It. I looked oh, for okay. it. It kind of made me wonder how he died. Yeah, yeah. I was, well, maybe somebody out there in the comments, you know. Man, I didn't. I didn't read that far. I might like, know. Quite hard though. He's a 450 pound I mean, guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's. It's scary, but it's reality. Yeah. I mean, this kind of stuff happens, and there's, you know, people. There's you know, a lot. There's a lot of crazy and sick people yeah, in the world. Yeah. It's, you know. So he never got his wife, and he never got the man that she hooked up with. Wow. Do you think that if he probably wouldn't have killed her? You think he would have? Yeah. I, I believe the. Yeah, he's, who she was with that definitely I but, think he'd have killed both of them you think so yeah what about the kid no you don't think so no it didn't seem like he I, because he's he's the only people out here killing his people that's getting in the way well yeah between like them homeless guys mm -hmm. if they didn't know who in the hell she was to begin with they'd probably been left alone mm -hmm. it's all connected with her oh, right. and another guy leaving yeah. you gotta think he's working he's a truck driver you know, you work hard for your money and everything. You mm. come home and your wife and kids are going. You know it's going to fucking make you drive you mad. Definitely. You know, yeah. he works, sends all his money probably home to her. Mm -hmm. She's a drug addict. And everything, so. Really sad situation. I can understand where he's coming from, where it fucked up his emotions up. Yeah. But that's how I'm looking at it, you know. Yeah. I want to say, you might have been just like a normal guy like me and you, you know, working hard for his money. Mm hmm. <laughs> that's all working hard. Yeah. Man. But that's what I'm saying. Hell, he got pissed enough. If he didn't make that first kill, he'd probably been a normal guy and I had no issues. Yeah. But, you know, after his wife and his kid left, everything went downhill. So remember, guys. So if you guys like this video, just tell us in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. The like. Definitely. And remember guys, subscribe. Just subscribe. Comment. <laughs> okay, remember guys, look up to the sky. Look at the globe when UFO Rick flies by. You got B to the P. I'm pumping like the gas station. The doc. You have the doctor. Doctor Madness. <laughs> <laughs> Getting shock therapy. Well on a straight jacket. But anyways, remember guys, hope you guys enjoy these videos. And everything. Remember guys, keep exploring guys. And peace!